Good morning, nieces and nephews. Welcome back to the channel. We haven't done a traditional straight up moto vlog in several weeks and uh, today I think we're gonna do that. Then we'll get back to some other things that I'm kind of experimenting with in terms of uh, what we're doing with the channel. Uh, stay tuned for that stuff. But uh, we're playing with a little bit of danger. It's Wednesday and uh, I have a middle of the week day off. I'll talk to you more about that in another video. I do have jobs now, so we're gonna talk about that. But what we have today, my daughter is visiting from Arizona. So me and the wife are doing our uh, relatively normal weekly ride. We're gonna head up, uh, head up over to the coast and my daughter's gonna ride with me. We put on the back seat and the luggage rack. I don't really need the luggage rack. I just put it on because I think the back seat looks dumb on there without it, but that's just me. No windshield still. Just check the oil, tire pressure. Everything is good to go. My daughter's gonna be using my wife's uh, old helmet, the one that we just replaced. And uh, she won't have comms, which kind of sucks, but I didn't feel like paying the money that it cost to get a new uh, Cena for that helmet just so I can talk to the daughter. But anyway, without further ado, we will see you on the road. Yeah, baby, getting all dolled up. Of course, me and uh, Bo Mama can speak on comms. There's my son. A lot of you guys commented that you didn't know he existed. And uh, sometimes uh, we forget, too, because he stays locked in his room a lot. Fine, I get it. And uh, this Nene, uh, if... Cena's weren't so expensive, uh, or they sponsored me. I'd put one on that helmet and uh, she could ride with us, or she could talk with us. But uh, in this case, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, it's so humid today. Yeah. It's so strange for Florida. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had that in a while. I'm telling you. Actually, the weather's been super nice. You guys are here for, this is the content you guys want. Oh, I asked my daughter last night if she would rather do back roads or coast. And I just thought about it for a little bit. And finally she said back road, but uh, then we devised the plan where we got to do both. So we're going to head over to Blackler Beach, but we're going to do it on this road, which turns into uh, a really nice, pretty country road. So we'll get a little bit of both in. We are going to be battling some rain later. Oh, uh, we're gonna, okay, good, they're turning. I was gonna say, man, adventure riders are known for not being very adventurous. Sorry for all you ADV guys out there, but <laughs> anytime I see a bike like that and a dude dressed up like a fucking crossing guard at a school, I just know I'm gonna be stuck behind some law-abiding citizen. No, I just, I just know. You just know, it's like the Prius with the Christian fish symbol on the back. You just know. You know you're gonna be stuck behind that asshole. Off you go, adventurous rider. <laughs> adventurous he looks yeah so i kind of alluded back there earlier uh, when i did the intro about how we're looking at you know i'm going to do this traditional moto vlog it's been a little while and i'm doing this today kind of in between some other stuff because uh i mean people have been saying it for a couple of years now and uh maybe some of it's clickbait maybe it's not but i i don't think moto vlogging is the future of motorcycle content i mean i feel like I feel like when you when you look at what people are watching, uh, the OG, the OG moto vloggers, Shade Tree, do it with Diana is still doing it. You know, Chase on two wheel, the OG and, and, and others. The OG guys are still are still doing it. You know, I think maybe uh, her two wheels came out at the right time, or she's you know, a woman, and that you know there's some different uh, positives and negatives that come with that. But uh, somebody like me who came out like a few years later and uh, other channels that I watch that are in my quality bracket in terms of like channel age the, the growth rate is just extremely slow I mean you gotta have something really unique to offer in order to make it in the motorcycle um, motorcycle content community and I, I don't think moto vlogs are it or or you know the harsh reality is maybe I'm just not in interesting you know what I'm saying which, uh, you know, I'm sure that has a lot to do with it. Go. Yep. You know, to a lot of the people who are watching that content, I just don't, maybe I just don't strike the fancy. So then what is the remedy for that? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to do different things. I mean, the, the, the little EV scooter that I did uh, last week, and I, I'm going to do another video on that. You know, that that didn't strike that many people's fancy. Maybe, maybe I titled it wrong or used the wrong thumbnail or I, I don't know what it was. Maybe just... People don't, don't like it. I don't know, but uh, you know there are other people 
people who have done videos on the same scooter with 300,000 views. So, you know, my channel is not set up for TV content, so that kind of has a lot to do with it. But um, I'm still going to make motorcycle content, and I'm still going to incorporate some of the life part of my life. You know, <laughs> I've done that in the past, and some people have been like, oh, this is a bad video. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I just don't know how we're going to incorporate everything together, what kind of direction we're going to be looking at. I think people will still like the talking head videos uh, as much as I really don't have a whole lot of experience doing them. You know, with stuff like this, like we're out riding, there's some diehards out there, and I love you guys, who really enjoy the motovlog content. And honestly, for me, when I do watch motorcycle content, which believe it or not, it's kind of rare. I don't watch a lot of motorcycle content. Uh, when I do watch motorcycle content, it's typically an interesting moto vlog. So either I need to make mine more interesting or any, anyway. But no, you guys that are diehard love moto vlog content. I see you. I love you. I just don't think that's where the future is. And if I, one of my goals is channel growth, you know, I'm going to have to try to either maximize what the moto vlog content looks like, change what it looks like, or move away from it. No, not, not entirely, but more. If that makes sense. Anyway, I've been talking your ear off. Baby, what what are your thoughts on moto vlog content with all your YouTube consumption? Oh yeah, I'm hooked on YouTube. I don't know what people like to watch and what they don't like to watch because I don't watch videos, so That's right. I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh Mama doesn't even watch my videos, okay, so well, she says she's not a YouTube consumer. Sometimes she'll watch mine, and sometimes she'll even jump in premieres. But you've noticed, I haven't been doing premieres for the last several weeks, and that's intentional. I've been uh, telling YouTube not to send you guys notifications. I'm trying some stuff. And a part of growth for any operation, whether it's a you know, full-blown full blown business or something like YouTube, you got to try different things to see what works, you know, for what your goals are and, um, so yeah, some of you guys told me, hey, I'm not getting notifications. That's because I'm not sending them. I, I'm intentionally not sending them, um, even if you have the bell on. For now, I'm just trying to I'm looking to see how this stuff works. I'm not doing premiere. We're, we're just trying to get in front of a different audience. Yeah, if you look at what people are watching in motorcycle content, it's like, uh, you know, you got your diehard Harley guys, girls, who are looking at whatever Harley Davidson puts out. And, and I think there's a, a little bit of a, an opportunity in, in that segment, but it's very, you have to be on it. It's very short lived. I can't do, you know, a first ride 2023 Sports Dress video nine months after they come out. I've seen people do that, and it's nobody cares at that point. I'm just going to say it bluntly. Nobody gives a shit. You got to be on it right now. If the motorcycle comes out today, you have to have your video out a week ago in order for it to be important enough for people to click on. And maybe that applies to all manufacturers of motorcycles. I don't know. You know, I'm kind of a Harley Davidson niche, you know, over the past year and a half or so. Um, or you see somebody like, you know, Spite's Corner. I think Spite came from a good place where he already had a pretty loyal following uh, with that other Jack Off YouTube channel. Um, so that really helped him significantly. Significantly, a lot of you guys are loyal, but he's doing a breadth of things. It's not really moto vlog. Uh, I don't have any connections in places to be able to do similar content. I think you guys get where I'm going with that. Uh, and I know I've been kind of long winded uh, here on this topic. Uh, one of my goals is to do more intentional recording and a little bit less on the bike. But like I said, today is a traditional moto vlog, so. So, like I said, back roads. You can talk. Oh, my. See, Bo Mama's good, man. She's like my film crew. 
Cause she, cause uh, this one was over here talking and she's like, hold on, hold on, he's recording. So quiet on set, she says. Yeah, so we got the back roads and now we got the beach a little bit. And uh, uh, th this one's like, hey, I manifested it. Cause I guess she needs some, what do you need? Make sure I look cute. A new piercing. Looking cute's up to you, not me. Okay. Uh, so I guess her piercing fell out somewhere. So uh, not only did we stop for some uh, food and beverages up there, but I guess she can get her little dingle dongle replaced over here. I don't know. So let's go eat first and then, uh, then we'll f with her, I don't know, diamond lip diamond thing. So we passed this place before and uh, it didn't stop because it was so packed. It was like, uh, just as the weather started turning, but I knew I wanted to come here today when we talked about coming over. Because if you're gonna have somewhere where you can see the ocean view, make it like a loft so you can actually see out there. Isn't that pretty? You like that? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, also, we're trying some trickery with my second microphone over here to make sure it. Uh, oh, my my camera is uh, locking in on Dolly's eye on your shirt, so that's where the focal point is. That's creepy. That's <laughs> kind of weird. Don't you love this view? I'm not talking about the ocean. I'm talking about no. I'm talking about this view. Don't you, don't you love this view? Ah, huh? Bobo, I like this view. She's been looking at it for over 20 years. 20 22 years. All right, food out, and I forgot to get. Uh, Official, thorough reviews. How is it? You gotta bite it and then tell me. Now don't lie to me if it ain't. Good, it just needs some kind of like a baja sauce or something on it. So it's okay. It's okay. It's not superb. It's not superb. This burger on the other hand is superb. <laughs> so Subprime. No, the burger's actually good. I didn't know I had an egg on it until right now. If you guys were around for the fried bologna incident, oh, God. I'm a little gun shy on fried eggs on sandwiches, but there's not too many burgers that a fat guy won't enjoy. I like this one. We're going to tear this shit up. We'll see you outside. All right, we're going to call it uh, call it quits here on the, uh, I think it's called Fens. Oh, there she is. There she is, putting it on. I think take... I think, yeah, of course I'm making fun of you. I think taking it off is the worst though, according to her. Look, you can be like every girl that has a motorcycle Instagram or YouTube channel where it's just a, their eyes showing through the helmet. Like nobody's ever seen that before, right? And we're gonna head out, head over to uh, our spot, Froggies. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna film in there. I haven't ever yet. Might be one of those things where it's like, I'll tease you guys like forever. Like, yeah, one day we're gonna film in there and I just don't do it. Go ahead, clap. There you go. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, she's feeling free spirited now. Look at her over there. I'm going to find a couple of drinks. Yeah, no, you have. We don't drink and ride, guys, but if we did, it'd be right now. We came down here to uh, leave to head over to Froggy's. Yeah, I didn't have my Cena on. And she reminded me that if I did have my Cena on, I would have had the opportunity to hear her pee. Yeah, there's a whole family behind you, so. Just gonna leave her here. <laughs> so they're just standing. <laughs> uh, the last time we went through here, we were behind a Subaru. We were. So remember, what was it like? A Subaru yeah, and a Tesla. Yeah. Dumbass. Flagler Beach uh, Pier. I got a feeling that uh, pier is out of commission. Yeah, no trespassing. You saw the end of it. It's all like in the ocean. <laughs> just drops off. <laughs> no, it broke. <laughs> these bands are so ret I hate being behind these bands, man. You can't see behind them, and they all drive like they're they've never been on a public road or in public in general. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe the maybe the speed limits low. I don't. You know how I feel about speed limits anyway. Hey, the view is pretty at least. It is. I'm gonna be stuck going one mile per hour. I might as well have some cool to look at. <laughs> the waves are uh, waves are surprisingly big for the Atlantic Ocean. You guys, you guys don't when you see like surf movies or posters or shit like that. The, the Atlantic Ocean, well, at least on the east coast of the U.S., is probably the last place that you're not going to see really pictures because. That's about as big as they get, at least in my experience, anywhere I've, I've been on the Atlantic, but 
there's a sign for like advertising liver and onions tonight from like four to nine p.m. That a- sign is a warning, not an advertisement. <laughs> Don't come here. Yeah. By the way, this is what we're doing tonight, so you best stay home, by God. <laughs> Liver and onion. That's the most <laughs> god-awful British-sounding thing. The Brits started that dumb shit. Liver and liver and onions. Ugh. Some of you guys out there eat that shit. I just know it. I know it. And that's, man, first of all, liver is like the driest, weirdest-tasting cut of meat. I'd rather eat a heart than a liver, personally. But yeah, so liver and onions. Like, the fact that that's still, there's so many things that have like come and go, gone, come and gone throughout the eons. That one's still around. That one that one made it. How, how did that, I mean, we don't even eat jello molds anymore. And that shit was popular like in the 50s. How is liver and onions still a thing? And this is riveting content. You guys, we're, <laughs> yeah. We're relaxed. You know how it is, man. <laughs> if I could get her, like... Hey, we're doing two now. Not one. Oh, shit. Look at you back there, like, chillaxing with one hand, cruising. Come on up here, baby. Hell yeah. She's chilling now, boy. Now, now she's definitely one of the Harley Davidson lesbians. She has that hand free so she can finger the, <laughs> the girl behind her. That's fine. You can reach back there and like, give her a little tickle. Hell yeah. Yeah, just like that. See? <laughs> I mean, of course she knows how it goes. Nobody touches you like yourself. That's how what I always say. Well, you look good from back here. Thanks. From way back here. From a distance. <laughs> I knew you were going to take that. <laughs> so I, that's the way I went with it. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're taking some fuck, man. As long as you keep that helmet on, you look damn good, baby. Uh, Replaces the paper bag. Yeah, as long as, yeah, buck, I'll call you Buckethead from now on. <laughs> All right, Main Street Daytona. We missed Bike Week by about a week and a half. Here's my bar. We we talk about this bar. This is our spot, man. We like coming down here. We don't do it nearly as often as we'd like, but, uh, but we still like coming down here. And I know I keep saying I need to show you guys inside. So I think finally, I think finally, let's see how it goes. Yep, nice little nondescript entrance. Let's head in there and see what's going on. Ah, uh, just kidding. You guys, yeah, I thought I was going to take you inside Froggy's. Hell no, that place is sacred to me. If you want to see what's inside of there, you got to go in there yourself. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I wasn't quite ready to leave yet, but I guess it's about time. I, I'm pretty sure... Thanks to uh, Bo Mama's astute observation, I'm pretty sure we're going to hit some rain as we get into old D-land. Maybe not, but uh, according to the radar, it looks pretty disgusting for the next several hours. Uh, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, the old school way. Back in the old wild west. Oh, okay, I hear you back there. Bo Mama. <laughs> You get her, you get a couple, uh, couple waters in her. She starts getting a little froggy. <laughs> That's why we like froggy so much. She can be herself. Look, look at this though. Look at this. Look at this. I get people that comment on my, I made an Instagram reel a couple months ago about how, you know, Florida sucks. And get, and most of you guys know this joke because I love just everything about this fucking state. But yeah, it does suck. You don't have winding roads or mountains or... I, I hate that. I hate that you have to, like, be... I mean, do what you want, right? That's the thing people say to stay out of trouble, but you have to have that in order to, in order to feel fulfilled on a motorcycle. That That's a you problem, man. If you can't enjoy, like, just being on a motorcycle just in general and you have to have... You, I gotta have my winding roads. Oh, man. Some of you guys, that if you stick around the video for this long, you're not going to like that. And honestly, I don't give a shit. Maybe, maybe that's another. We talked earlier about subscribers or growth. Maybe that's another reason I don't have that many, that much growth. Because I'm not just spending 15, 20 minutes on a video kissing your ass all the time. But I'm not that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I appreciate 
for those of you who stick around and watch the videos, though, honestly, I really do. I appreciate you guys so much, and I love you guys. But um, honestly, I don't like. I, I don't. I mean, there is the saying "dance, monkey dance," and there is a lot of truth to that. I'm here as an entertainer, right? Whether I'm entertaining or not, that's kind of my role on on the old interwebs. But uh, at the same time, it's kind of like I'm doing my thing, man. If, and, and if my thing, oh God, maybe we'll go in more on this when I do the second. Okay, there goes Bowen back there flexing. <laughs> you can hear we're like we're like having a conversation. Come on, oh yeah, where are you gonna go? That red light? Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, I know, I'm just giving you a hard time. I could do the same. I, I, had, I had a guy on that last uh, scooter video. I, mean, I got to do a second one. That's just part of my uh, terms and conditions with them for getting that scooter. Hey! hey. What? <laughs> there we go, baby. That's Daytona Beach in its finest right there, my friend. <laughs> if you know, you know. Look at he's waving at that guy. He's going to ask that Ford truck to run it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys might have seen an innocent man walking across the street just asking me to ride a motorcycle. But if you live in or near Daytona Beach, you already know. You already know that's not 100% what it was. I mean, it was like 90% of what it was, but the other 10% was chemically enhanced. Okay, we'll just say that. Anyway, I had a, I had a guy comment on that EV video. He's like, you've earned or you got an unsubscribe, whatever he said. Yeah, I, basically he said he unsubscribed for me uh, because I, I was promoting an electric motorcycle. And then another guy right after that, like, this is all within the same couple hours. He's like, he asked me, he said, uh, did you actually buy this or were you sponsored? And I said, no, this is a sponsorship. And they sent it to me. He said, oh, man, I was really hoping your channel wouldn't go this direction, but, you know, it's too bad. Why is it too bad? It's none of your fucking business. If I want if I want to accept a scooter for free because I think it's cool and do a couple of videos on it, you're right I am. Because a little bit of money that I make off of YouTube, this isn't a for me speech. I'm just saying, and revenue on YouTube blows, man, for the amount of time and you know, energy you spend on it. So if I want to accept a product free and pitch it to you guys, you don't have to buy it. Don't buy it. If you don't like it, shit. Don't buy it. I don't care. I got it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I, I do stuff to entertain you, right? You guys get a little peek into my life. Or a very curated piece of my life. That's, a, that's another topic for another day. But, you know, some of those things I do because I think it's cool. And I get the benefit. And, and, and some guys are not going to like that. You're going to hit that unsubscribe? Okay. I don't want you to. But, I mean, feel free to announce it in the comment. Whatever. It, I don't know. I'm rambling again. But that's what happens. You get a you get a couple of high lives in your old uncle. You know, I don't know. It's just one of the perks, I guess. Kind of make up for the fact that we don't really make a whole, whole shit ton. Not that I'm doing it for the money. If I was doing this for the money, I'd quit a long time ago. Because it ain't much. How do you feel about that, baby? About... Sorry. This is, she wasn't even listening. She's been her own little fucking la la land over there. She's thinking about Brett Michaels, like dancing in the rain or some <laughs> shit. Dancing. She's, she's like, talk dirty to me. She's like, oh yeah, pick up that guitar and uh, talk to me. Huh? No, I'm saying people are telling me they're unsubscribing because. I mean, I got yeah. to answer, like, uh, Claire River. It's like, I don't know. I mean, you know how I feel about people's opinions anyway. Oh, if you want to talk about somebody who don't give a f about somebody's opinion, it's this one. I mean, we all say we don't... I, everybody... I, oh, God. I hate the social media posts. Like, especially when like somebody's whole personality is, I don't give a f about what you think. Like, every post is, I don't give a f about what you think. It's like, shut up. No, you you really do, otherwise you wouldn't post that. You wouldn't always post that. You want everybody to think you don't give a f right? Mama doesn't post that. She never posts that shit. She posts things about, hey, we had a family day, and 
you know, maybe pictures of the grandson and shit like that. But you want to meet somebody who does not give a f- like, like somebody you, like all you people out there who post that shit all the time. You guys only wish you were Bo Mama. You ain't. No, she don't. She will cut you off faster than Lorena Bobbitt and her husband's dick. I'm telling you, right? Hell, man. She don't. And she won't announce it. That's the thing. That's what makes it. She won't announce it. She won't make a post about it. She won't talk about all this shit with her friends. Well, she don't have any friends, but. I mean. That's not a mom. Yeah, she cut them all off. There's a bunch of little fucking foreskins that all represent her friends in, in her little glass case at home. Ask me how I know. I didn't get circumcised till I met her. I'm just saying. No, but all you that are like, oh, my cousin Randy, whatever. I, I, I don't know that. You guys are getting the, the good Uncle Bo Gator right now, and a lot of you guys are going to turn this shit off right now. I don't blame you. I would turn me. I do turn me off. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, that was another. I get off on tangents pretty easy, but yeah, you you guys act like you don't care. Actually, you know who it is? It's not even. I say guys. It, you know who it is? It's women. Bitches. Oh yeah, I mean, sue me for saying it, but women post that shit. I don't give a f- about nobody. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a f- what you think i mean men post that too but it, no it's fine look through your feeds it's women who post that shit and they're the ones the ones who post that shit they're the ones who care the most about what you think garen fucking t anyway great day out riding today fucking love it it was that was fun i have had it this has been a great fucking day anytime i do Huh? Love all these fucking red lights too no i don't i told you international was gonna be a bitch but it's not traffic. It's just a bunch of red lights. Oh, there you go. I should leave that in. Somebody says it's gross. Yeah. That burp was sponsored by Eagle Eyes. Get 15% off at eagleeyes.com slash Uncle Bo Gator. There you go. I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing because you got a free scooter and you're pimping it. Listen, uh, I-, I think... Uh, it's it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, Josh or Shade Tree Surgeon is a, is a good friend of mine. He really is. Um, and I know a lot of my subscriber base has come from uh, the Shade Tree subscriber base. And I'm not mad about that, but I think a lot of you guys try to project some of the things he says onto your expectations to for what you think I should do. Like, you know, he's got this, and, and it's I am not I'm not bashing. It's it's his decision. He's got the stance where. You know, he's not going to do a lot of sponsorships. He doesn't want to feel like a sellout. Great. Honest, honestly, 100% great. But if I want to take that approach to where if somebody, listen, I get as small as I am. I'm still extremely, extremely small, right? There's nothing. I'm in, I'm, I'm not even, I can't, you can't even measure it how small I am. I get offers every single day multiple offers you know shit like hey do you want our hair care products it's like and they'll say like hey we love your channel we'd like to offer you a sponsorship for hair care products i'm like you don't love the channel that much because i ain't got no fucking hair if you love the channel you know i don't have any you know shit like that right but if it's something like hey we want to give you a free electric motorcycle to make two videos battery level is low if we want to give you a free motorcycle and make two videos about it, goddamn right I'm going to do it. Hell yeah. Not just so I can show you guys what I got. But just, I got something. You guys think what you will. I, I do love you if you stick around. You know, if, you don't, if you're not one of those guys, I'm unsubscribing from you. I love you. I really do. My battery's going to die soon. We'll see you later. <laughs>